welcome to my channel. My name is Karen, and the name of my channel is PR Girl for Puerto Rican Girl. I hope that everyone is doing well and safe. If you have been here before, then welcome back. I'm so glad to have you again. In today's video, as you can see by my setup of today, I'm going to be sharing with you a few pieces that I got from the brand Genos New York. Um, I have the box right here. Uh, they contacted me through Instagram asking me if I wanted to do a collaboration with them. Um, they basically uh, told me that I could select a few of the pieces that they have on their catalog. Basically, they asked me to pick um, a pair of earrings, a necklace, a bracelet, a ring, and three charms. So that's very exciting. Um, I did already um, a bit, I think it was on my, on my IGTVs on Instagram about my first collaborations with them, which was back in 2019. That occasion I got this is a coffee cup, as you can see, very pretty. And this charm has actually held up very well. Um, I don't wear it that often, but I'm gonna say that yes, it has held up well. I also have this pair of Muranos from them. I'm gonna say that I have used them quite often because of that um, gold that you see right there, swirl of gold, and it has some sissies inside. I tend to use this often with my two tones and actually they have worked beautifully. So I'm gonna say that I'm very happy with them. So the first thing that I noticed here is that they sent me this card. So it's a card that says Genos New York. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right, but I think it is. So let's put it right there. So as you can see, this is the box and inside you have the packaging for the jewelry. So let me show you. I really like this. I feel that this is very sleek. I love the black and white. Um, I think this is very pretty kind of um, also like sophisticated, elegant. I love that. So once you open this, um, you get a pouch. So that's the pouch inside. And in here is everything that I got. I wasn't sure on what to show you first, but I think I'm gonna start with my favorite piece, which was the pair of earrings that I got. And here they are. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? What you see right here are the earrings that I decided to try. They are so beautiful. In rose plated gold, stunning. I love that they have stones. Yes, what you see in here in the color green is malachite stone. And then the butterflies that are at the bottom has CCs on them. Oh my goodness, they're absolutely gorgeous. I will do my best to insert a couple of footage here, me trying them so you can see them on my ear, but I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I feel that they look so beautiful on the ear. Perfect for spring. Amazing, totally amazing. Look at that. So pretty and there are um, a post, as you can see in the back right there. So here they are. This is the back. I love this so much. They're absolutely stunning, gorgeous. And then that's the CCs at the bottom. The next piece I'm gonna show you is another rose plated jewelry. And it is the ring. This is, I think the bamboo rose plated ring. I'm gonna try to insert the names of all the pieces that I'm gonna share with you today, um, either right here or in the information box down below. So I decided to go for this one because I wanted to get more rose plated jewelry. And as I said, the one that I have from them, the coffee cup has held very well. And so that's why I got it. So um, I got it in size seven US. Let me try for you. So. There you go, it is perfect. Um, the person that actually contacted me for doing the review, um, you know, I had a conversation with her that since this was a thick band, that I should have maybe, you know, try a half size larger, but she said that they're true to size and I agree, it is perfect on my finger and I'm gonna say that I absolutely love it. 
and it's gonna be very beautiful when I wear it with my earrings. So you see the CCs from the ring with the CCs from the earrings. It just goes so well together, beautiful. The next item I'm gonna share with you is the necklace I got. And again, I decided to go for rose plated jewelry. And here is the piece that I decided to get. This is supposed to be red agate. Um, I think I got a piece of agate that has um, a lot of orange, but it's not as orangey as it's looking on the screen right here. I will try again to wear it and showcase it to you on my neck. But as you can see, this is the necklace. It is sort of a thin band and the clasp is like this. Uh, um, as you can see, it has like some kind of insignia here. Um, I'm not sure what exactly is that, but it is a traditional type of closure. I forgot how you call this one. And as you can see, the piece of agate has scissors surrounding it and you know even though if it's red agate or more of an orangey shape i still love it to me this looks really stunning it's not as bright as i said on camera as i see right here in front of me but it's certainly more of an orangey shade but i thought it was so different that that's why i decided to go for this one this is the back it's very dainty i don't know exactly what it is there but let's zoom in Quilling G750, Quilling. So maybe that's the cue that I have right here on the class. So far, I have three pieces that I have shown you. Beautiful. The stones, oh, you can see them from a mile. The Malachi, the red agate, so, so pretty. I'm gonna be so happy wearing this, I'm sure. The next piece I'm gonna share with you is the bracelet. I was so excited to try one of the nose bracelet. And again, yes, I went for a rose plated version. And this is it. This bracelet again has the red agate and it will be beautiful with the necklace I show you. It is an open bangle and it's one of those bangles that you can place all inside. So you basically open this, oh, sorry. I haven't actually tried this before. I'm just doing it right here in front of the camera. Probably I should have. So basically you put um, something in here with the oil. So they give me these um, things that you impregnate with oil, the, your favorite type of oil, and then you put it inside. So that's a really nice way to have some fragrance on your grease. But I basically think this is beautiful. Let me try it for you. So here it is on my wrist, and as I said, it will be perfect complement to my necklace. Ooh, that's gonna be stunning everything together. So here's a closer look at the bangle. There you have the heart of red agate, and then surrounding the heart, you have those beads, beautiful. And then on this side, you have that intricate pattern with the red, I think this one is actually enamel, that's my feeling, but look at that, that you can place that um, oil thing here. It's kind of cool and different. I have never seen that before and that got me intrigued. So that's the bangle and I actually love it. It's gonna be beautiful stacking as well. Here is a comparison with um, a Pandora rose piece. In this case, this is the Beats and Pave bracelet. And I have the Genos bangle here, the Beats and Pave in Pandora rose and the Genos bracelet in um, rose plated. And as you can see, the rose is very similar. So far we have four pieces, the earrings, the ring, the necklace and the bracelet. Now let's go to the charm. Right, so the first one I have to show you is this one. This is a charm that has scissors and again, red agate. I think it was actually very different to have the agate with the rose. And you guys know I love um, rose jewelry. So I decided to go with this one so I can have more variety to wear with my necklace and my bracelet, my bangle. And this agate is actually more darker than the ones from the necklace and the bangle. Uh, this one still sees slightly red, slightly orange but um more on the red side like this one for sure this side is more red 
and the other one is more orangey in my opinion so pretty and the size is quite nice let me put it on the Mores Open Bangle so you can see. Here it is on the Mores Open Bangle. I actually feel that it looks beautiful. And as a focal point on the grease, it will be amazing. Here it is on my grease. I think it looks stunning. So delicate, so feminine, so elegant. And then here is with the addition of my new Genos Bangle. I love this, love this so much. Very different also with the tones of the um, red agate. The next charm I will share with you is one that I fall in love with since the moment I saw it on the website. And it is this gorgeous Mexican gold charm. So pretty, oh my goodness. Look at the colors on this gold. They are so amazing. I'm gonna zoom in so we can look at the closer details of these. So here it is. I'm gonna say that I love the enamel colors that he's wearing. His hat, his sombrero has orange enamel and then you can see in his um, frown, in his face, he has some yellow enamel there. And then the guitar is so cute with white enamel and you see also in the center a red rose and then some leaf with green. Love the expression. And let's take a look at the back. So yeah, that's the back. As you can see, it says S925. And then the guitar in the back is plain, but you still have some enamel from the sombrero. I love um, any Mexican skull, sugar skulls. And I thought this one was gonna be very pretty with one that I have from Pandora. In fact, let me go grab it so we can look at them together. So here are the two together. We have this Mexican charm from Genos. And then on the right, this skeleton girl from Pandora. And you know, her head is bigger than his head, but his body is longer. As you can see, it is a dangle charm. And I thought this, we are gonna be so cute together. You know, like they are gonna go out, sort of like I remember the um, Coco movie playing some music and, you know, getting along, having a nice time together. I love the expression of his face. I can see all the features on his skull. And I'm gonna say that I love it. Oh, in the top, you have in the sombrero also some black enamel. I didn't saw that before. But yeah, I think this is gonna be very cute to wear um, on my old pendant or, you know, any bracelet. So I think this is very fun. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna have a coupon code for you guys that Gino sent me so kindly to give you. I'm gonna leave that coupon code annotated here and more information on the info box down below in case you're interested on in getting something from Gino's. And they also do many times promos and they have quite special different charms. And the last one that I'm gonna show you is one of those special ones. And the nose do so many charms that are um, with photos that you can actually place a photo of a significant other in your life on a charm. And I did just, all right, so here is the charm that I was referring to. Again, this is also rose plated and it is a dangle. This is called the Lotus Dangle. And as you can see, you have a Lotus um, flower with pink and white enamel. I actually love that enamel color. And yes, you got a pic right there in the back. There's a picture and this is a picture of my family. So there is my, there is my husband, me and my two kids. I'm gonna do a closer look for you to see, but that's more or less the charm. And this is to me so special. I found this so unique um, from Genos. They have so many ones to create, even with pets. They take a little bit, um, some time to um, be designed because you have to send the picture and they do it customized. Um, but let me tell you, it's all worth it. All right, so here's a closer look at that Lotus pendant. And look at the Lotus itself. So beautiful with the um, pink, white enamel. So you see it's, um, more white in the center and the petals are the tips um, pink 
and I love that shade of pink so much. You also see some rose there as well in some petals. And then this is the veil that says G knows, as you can tell. So pretty. Let me show you the bag before I show you the picture. This is the bag, as you see, it's plain. And then the bag of the lotus flower is um, all rose. Excuse me if I'm blinding you there, but there you go. Beautiful. And then the picture that I have in here, I don't know if you can tell, but um, this is this is me on the right, my husband in the middle, my kid who back then maybe was five or six, yeah, like maybe five and a half, and then my then baby who was about maybe 10 months or so. So yeah, I'm so happy with that. He's just uh, so special. Um, to me, I, I was so happy when I decided to get this one and it's going to be um, you know, a treasure for me. I'm going to treasure it forever. And I think that most likely we'll have to see, but I feel that I'm going to wear it as a pendant, maybe on my Pandora rose or pendant. I think it will be beautiful. So here is my Pandora rose or pendant. And as you can see, it looks beautiful on there. And also, as I say, as a necklace itself, like a pendant um, on a chain, it will be beautiful as well. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Thank you so much, you know, for sending me these pieces to review. I'm gonna say that I'm in love with all these stones and those earrings are so fabulous. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna rock them so nicely. All right, guys, so again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Gracias.